Now on Wednesday, we had an epic day here at the Crucible, full of highs and lows, winners and losers. Marco Fu squandered his three-frame lead to crash out of the World Championships. And Mark Allen came from three frames behind to dramatically steal victory in his match and go through to the next round. Now, as you probably know, both players share the same coach, and it is, of course, the legendary Terry Griffiths. So we went and caught up with Terry and talked to him about what must have been a very emotional day. Thank you. Yesterday, I had Marco Fu in the morning, uh, which I was also commented on, and he didn't play well at all, and I can't even start to explain to you how bad I feel, exactly like I was playing, the emotions you go through, it's Thursday emotions. And then in the night, I mean, Mark Allen's gone on, who never for one minute look if he's going to win because the lad's not in the best of, of spirits at the moment. And he, he turned around and won the match 10-9. Uh, and you feel as if you've won the pool. So you get all that in one day. And people say that, you know, I mean, life's about to in emotions. And where else am I going to get that? The contrast between the two. And don't get me wrong, I mean, it is awful for me in the day to see Marco Fool losing, like all my players. Uh, but of course, you've got to have that, you know, if you want the other one, which is the winning and, and everything that goes with that. How much of what you do with your players is to do with technique and how much is to do with mind? It's mostly mind and. Um, I think, uh, like, look, I'm not a psychologist, but I, I like to massage their minds, get it uh, in the right place at the right time when they're going out to play and during the intervals. And What did you say to Marco in the interval? I have to assess where they are at that moment with their mind. I've got something like 10 minutes to do it. And so I started then to, as I would say, massage his mind and say to him, look, um, this is what you, know, you need to do now when you go out. And uh, you've, you've got to forget what's happened before because he lost the first four frames. And um, I tell him, look, I know how difficult that is to achieve. But if you want to win this match, we've given him all the positive thoughts before he goes out. But as it was yesterday, Martin Gould played very well towards the end and Marco got knocked out. At the end of the day, they win the game or they lose it. But I blame myself if they lose. Do you think there's now more pressure on players than ever before? Uh, undoubtedly, there's more pressure in life, isn't there? I mean, um, they say that, you know, you're under the microscope now. There's so much media coverage in all sports, not just snooker. And uh, in snooker, it's, it's you're by yourself. Um, we all struggle at times when we're alone with our thoughts, uh, you know, and uh, self-doubts creep in because of that if you're not playing well. But look, everybody gets depression. It's how you handle it. And look, it's an illness, and I'm not an expert on it, that's for sure. I've suffered depressions in my career, I can tell you. But perhaps not to the extreme they've got, I don't know. Who knows what's in another person's mind? Finally, Mark Allen, as you say, put in a blistering performance yeah. last night. It's, it is very special because he hasn't been at his best. It's, you know, he's not well at the moment, and he's, he hasn't got the motivation and drive he normally got. He's, he's such a nice lad and such a bouncy you know, steps and running around the table and he's a great player to watch and I love working with him. Uh, but he didn't have that in him here and I didn't think at any time yesterday he was going to win the match and I don't think he did either. But the fascinating thing about it is what I did something about the Crucible Theatre and the World Championships. When Matthew Stevens got a nine, something went like that in, my, in Mark Allen, there's no doubt about it, his cheeks went red and I know once he, that happens he starts to try harder. And the truth of it was, he just sort of, I don't know, turned a switch and then his, his um, doctor came out here, uh, which, which also inspired him. And, and things like this seem to happen in this place as if it's meant to be. It wasn't an excellent match, but it was just the emotion involved with him winning, because all his family was here, everybody was crying. And it, it is just, it's just fabulous to be part of. How he won, I don't think he knows, and I, certainly I don't know. Now, if you've got requests for things that you'd like to see and do behind the scenes here, then contact me, Steve, via Twitter, at BBC Snooker.